sure of his abilities, the Wolverine leaps forward into the midst of the clashing titans. Aiming towards the Hulk, Wolverine lands on his back, slashing at him while telling that the government sent him to stop the monster and jumps away before he can be grabbed. Landing, the newcomer turns, aiming a trio of claws forged from adamantium at his adversaries, and having been unable to pierce the Hulk's skin, goes after the Wendigo next and succeeds in clawing through its tough hide. Shocked at the sudden attack, the Wendigo steps back, which allows Wolverine to knock it over a ledge, and following it, weaves his way through a series of blows that miss and continues slashing at the weakening monster. Above, the Hulk watches, confused that Wolverine is attacking his opponent, then concludes that he's actually his friend and decides to move in to help him. Leaping down, the Hulk lands a powerful kick upon the Wendigo, starting the fight between them once again. Wolverine, though unsure of why the Hulk believes that they're buddies now, uses it to his advantage though and climbs onto the Wendigo's back, yelling for the Hulk to attack while the monster is distracted and quickly leaps away when the Jade Giant lifts his opponent off the ground. Wolverine is amazed at the Hulk's power as the monster is thrown into a group of trees, breaking and uprooting them with the force. Seeing that the creature is still conscious, he hurls himself forward, unleashing a frenzy of strikes. The Hulk congratulates Wolverine on killing the Wendigo, but he replies that it's immortal and merely unconscious, as an uneasiness spreads between the two with the Hulk not knowing what to say now that the battle is finished. Wolverine, though, quickly lashes out, taking advantage of the opening, when Hulk, angry now, shouts that Wolverine betrayed him and jumps forward to catch his attacker, but misses. Not far away, Georges points out to Mary that her brother might be mortally wounded, but she sees it as a blessing since they can't be attacked now, as they hurry forward to drag the unconscious Wendigo away to prepare to transfer the curse to the Hulk, when Georges urges her once again to stop. While the two combatants carry on, we turn back to the secret Canadian airbase that's only a short distance away. A man asks if they've heard anything from Weapon X, but learns that they've heard nothing as another worries if it was wise to send him in alone. The first officer then says the government was sure of his abilities, as they have spent plenty of time and money on the mutant to make him viable in the field, and that he's got six hours to bring the Hulk in. If he doesn't, however, they have an aircraft ready to drop a team of commandos to stop the rampaging giant. Back at the fight, Wolverine is struggling to bring his target down when the Hulk lifts a boulder to crush the mutant, but is struck and drops the stone and it breaks against his head, which only further enrages the hero. Not far away on a mound of earth, Mary is making the final preparations for her plan. Warning Georges to stand aside, she begins chanting a spell as she pours a substance into a container, causing it to emit a mysterious gas. The gas blows into the battlefield below, resulting in the two fighters falling unconscious when the two humans approach. Approaching the Hulk, Mary instructs Georges to help her carry him when he shouts in shock and they watch as the gigantic green form slowly begins shifting colors until it's no more than the body of a regular person, Dr. Bruce Banner. Insisting that nothing's changed, Georgia stops the woman telling her that he refuses to help her harm a person and that he's done when she tries once again to guilt him into continuing, but he refuses to be goaded into being her accomplice. Ignoring her cries, the man sits and contemplates how Mary shouted of the debt that he owed her and her brother and how she will never stop her quest. Knowing what he must do, he enters the stone house, determined to find something to put an end to the Wendigo. Back at the battlefield, Mary has tied up Wolverine and moves to drag Bruce to the altar to sacrifice him. When she goes to move him, though, she's stunned at how heavy the diminutive man is when she spots that his skin is turning green again and becomes frightened. The Hulk has returned and is mad that she tricked him as she tries to assure him that she's still his friend. Knowing that she's lying, he decides to smash her when he walks past the woman looking at Wolverine, who he also hates, and sees that he can't break his chains. Lifting him up and planning to break both him and the restraints, Wolverine is thrown with such force that the bonds break, allowing him to recuperate and launch himself once again towards the behemoth while Mary runs away. Dashing to the stone hovel, she hears a wailing cry and the sound of flesh being ripped when she moves forward slowly, only to be blocked by an awakened Wendigo. Letting loose a piercing scream, the two fighters stop as they hear the cry, though Hulk, focused on fighting, quickly resumes his attack. 
Sensing the strike at the last second, Wolverine manages to mostly dodge, but still takes a glancing blow that staggers him backwards as the Jade Giant bellows of his victory. While back at the hovel, Mary tries to figure out what her brother is telling her as he gestures before finally pointing merely into the room with the stone slabs. Stepping forward, she peers inside and is shocked to see what George's has wrought. Inside, she finds the body of her brother as he awakens, the transference of the curse complete when she realizes who the Wendigo really is, and she asks why he did it as the debt he owed wasn't that great. Unable to speak, he merely sheds a tear as he thinks of how she'll never understand how he did it because he loved her. With the last of his humanity rapidly disappearing, the Wendigo smashes his way outside and wades into the forest as Mary screams for him to come back. Outside, the Hulk watches, confused as the Wendigo rushes off into the distance when he hears the sound of someone crying and approaches the house. Inside, Mary is motionless as she is trying to process all of the events that have occurred, having retreated into her mind due to her grief, and upon seeing this, the Hulk lays a hand gently on her shoulder to comfort her, as he knows all too well the feelings of both grief and despair. We see both the Hulk and Wolverine outside as an aircraft arrives, informing Wolverine that he's failed his mission and to return to base. Shouting that he can still defeat the Hulk, the mutant is warned to obey orders and enter the lift capsule when he asks about their target but is told not to worry as they drop a metal net around him. The hero easily destroys the net though when a team of commandos jumps out, though they hesitate as he moves towards them muttering of how he doesn't like them or their guns and he plows into them as the airship launches a missile. Detonating at his feet, it releases a gas that upon breathing knocks him out. Awakening a short time later, he finds himself suspended in mid-air locked in a cage and upon realizing this, screams that he can't be held as he easily breaks through the bars. Jumping free, he lands solidly on the ground and begins tearing his way through the forest, leaving a slowly dwindling path of destruction, eventually losing the ship as day turns to night and he hears music in the distance. <laughs> 